gathered to him, and he was by the sea. Yeah. And behold, one of the rulers of the synagogue came, Jairus by name, right. and when he saw him, he fell at his feet. Yes. And begged him earnestly, saying, My little daughter lies at the point of death. Jesus. Come and lay your hands on her, that she may be healed, and she will live. Jesus Christ. So Jesus went with him, and a great multitude followed and thronged him. Now a woman had a flow of blood for 12 years yeah. and suffered many things from many uh, physicians. She had spent all that she had and was no better, but rather she grew worse. When she heard about Jesus, when she heard about Jesus, yeah. Yeah. Right. when she heard about right. Jesus, yeah. come on, come on. she came behind him in the crowd and touched his garment. For she said, if only I may touch his clothes. For she said, if only I may touch his clothes, I shall be made clean. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. I do thank you for standing up and having the purpose of our work. You may be saved at this time. Amen. Pastor Williams preached, I think, on fifth Sunday. In that movie, a lot of great things, a lot of humorous things happen. But it's one part of the movie that I want to particularly talk about. I'm going to bring it back out, Pastor. Of course, made a decision to just run across the country. For no particular reason, he just felt like running. Yeah. 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 But if you notice in that part of the movie, uh -huh. Forrest had a great amount of people to follow him. Hey, Amen. And at one point, after multiple trips across the country, Forrest just made a decision that he was just going to stop. And he turned to the crowd and said, I'm tired. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. come on. Uh -huh. And he just stopped and went home. Okay. So if I would look at this scripture that I'm talking about today, don't be like Forbes. Yeah. So if I had to name it and give it a title that says, Don't give up, seek, and believe in Jesus. I don't want to not do this, so I don't want to be first day when I get in the car. Let me let me address the things. I got my brother-in-law here is Minister Higgins Bottom. Yeah, man. My Raise stick hands of all my family back there. Amen. Amen. And then my uh, my children do some riding, and then my wife she wanted the phone sticking up back there. Amen. 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 But I want to get into this real quick. I 
promise you I won't be before you. Yeah, Come on. Come on. It says that in that movie, when, when I tell you that he had a follow And so Pastor told me it's you, son. And I want you to think about this for a minute because I want to talk to you. Yes, right. I want to focus on the kids yes, real quick, if yeah. y'all don't mind. Yeah, I know everybody here yeah. came to worship, but I want to talk to yeah. the young ones real quick. Yeah. That's right. one of my students right there. Um, <laughs> yeah, I pointed you out. <laughs> but the reason why I'm talking about this is if you look at this scripture, they both saw Jesus. Jerry sought out Jesus. Yeah. When we think about our youth right now, Jesus might not be the most popular person for them to oh, see. Right. Right. They got all the entertainment, they got all the phones, they got all the devices that they can run to to keep their mind at bay. Yes. That's right. Mm -hmm. But yet, if we look at the situation with fours, those things are just a mere yes. formality. Teaching and trying to uh, 
stand on their own understanding and lead people astray. Yeah. Right. That was yeah. That's right. So when I think about Jairus and I think about the woman with the issue of blood, uh -huh. they both sought the one rule. All right. The one true king yeah. that can intervene, intervene on their situation. Yeah. Yeah. And so I looked throughout the Bible and I thought more on other situations, other people that was going through things. And I thought back on the kids, man short in stature, that just wanted to get in the presence of God. Yeah. Yeah. So much so that he shimmied up mm. a sycamore tree. Yeah. 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 And I thought about how hard that had to be and how much effort he had to put into mm -hmm. because there was no branches on that tree. He's short and stature. I don't know how you got his arm around, but he made a valiant effort Come just on. to see Jesus. Come on. Come on. Come on. So I think about us in these day, this day and time. Why do we fight so hard about being in the prison? Come on. Come on. Come on. I even thought about when Lazarus was sick. My, my brother-in-law preached on this a few Sundays ago. Mm -hmm. And I thought about how they sent somebody and told him, Jesus, the one that whom you love, again, who did they seek out? All right. Yeah. Come on, come on. All right. They sought out Jesus to intervene on the situation. Yeah. 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 So when I think about these things, when I Focus on the true matter here. All right. Is they all believe all right. in Jesus. Yeah. It's not so much that they just want to go find just anybody. They wanted to find the one person they knew and had faith in to come into the situation. That's all right. right. So if I had to put a point to that. My first point, we seek Jesus. Seek him. Right. Don't just fall for anything. All right. All right. All right. Oh, yeah. It's hard in this world right now because you really want to allow yourself to just have control of your life. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, yeah. Come on. It's hard to completely submit and allow Christ to lead you. Uh -huh. Because that's just not how you were raised. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You were raised as if you were a young man that you're supposed to be in control. You're supposed to do manly things. Yeah. You're not supposed to allow somebody else to lead and control you. All right. But yeah, come on, come on. if you had that foundation, you understand that submitting to God is not losing yeah. control of your life. That's right. Right. That's, right. Right. That's good. That's good. Yeah. That's right. But it's fine. That's the right. Of your life. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So if I tell the young kids here today, it's not so much that you allowing God to just make you do something you don't want to do. Uh -huh. But if you want to be successful. Yeah, you allow God to yeah. show you the way that you need to go. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. So, why do these individuals have these situations going on in their life? I'm going to fast forward here a little bit. So, if I could put point two and three together, okay. <laughs> I'm going to put this point two as perfect. Purple, purposeful pain. Right. Ooh, point three oh. is to strengthen your belief. So if I put them together, it says I have purposeful pain uh -huh. to strengthen my belief. Uh -huh. yeah. All right. So when I look at that, uh, the woman had the issue of blood uh -huh. 12 long years. All right. And I can tell you how I got here. Praying, and then my sister uh, sent me a text one night uh, before Bible study. She talked about how she wasn't going to go to Bible study, but while she was laying in bed, she heard a voice say, "Well, what if the woman with the issue of blood had gave All right, my God. So it's purpose in your pain. Yes, sir. For twelve long years, she tried everything. That she could, she paid all these positions, she went through all these different scenarios trying to be healed. All right. Yet, yeah. the only thing that got rid of the situation was Jesus. 
well, why did she have to go through this? Why did God allow her to go through 12 long years of pain? All right. So when we pray for strength, do you wake up the next morning just strong? Mm. All right. Come on down. Come on down. Come on when you down. pray for wisdom, do you wake up the next morning just as wise as all you can be? All right. All right. Come on down. Come on. When you pray for healing, it's just, oh, I'm better than that. God allows us to go through things to give us what we want. So if I tell you that you pray for strength, and God allows you to go through a situation, faith is a muscle that you must exercise.
people now. Yes, Why? Because God said, do not be afraid. No. Only believe. Yes, All right. Yes, so he went in and he lifted that little girl up. Yes, if I gotta tell you anything else, your situation ain't dead. Make this commotion and weep. This child is not dead, but it's sleeping. No situation ain't dead. It's not sleeping. You must understand it ain't dead. It's not sleeping. You got to go to the room. Susan, I'm right here. Let's wake it up. Yes. So you might be dealing with something. Yes. You might be truly going through whatever you're going through. I don't know what your situation is. Hey, come on now. I don't know what your situation is, but I know who can turn it around. Come on. Right now, right now. Hey. If I can revisit Forrest Gump, yeah. Forrest Gump was going through some things, and when the devil came at him in the form of a truck, he oh. had them braces on his legs. All right. He was walking, he was walking, trying to get away. Yeah. But at some point, God stepped in. No, no, no. And he broke out his braces and he Let me say something to you. He started out saying, 
talking to you for a minute. A lot of times we hold on to 